We help to raise money to support the mission of the Red Cross. And lately, it's been more about volunteerism. We really want to expand the footprint of the Red Cross and bring some younger folks in um, so that we can keep what has become an incredible resource for our country continuing. What we do for the community is just, I mean, just, just so powerful. We assist a lot of people. First one we see, helping communities not only uh, respond to a huge disaster like a hurricane or flooding situation, but also help communities be able to recover. I'm not sure there's another organization that reaches out to as many different people as quickly, as efficiently um, as the Red Cross does. Um, I think when you lose everything and you're totally devastated, someone's there to put their arms around you to say, if this will work. Well, we were tasked by the federal government to respond to provide mass care in the of disaster. We are the, the agency for that. So without us there and all the partners that join us, um, the country would be, uh, the country would struggle to put themselves back together after each disaster. On December 10th of uh, 2015, our house burned completely to the ground. We had nothing. And in 1975, my house burned to the ground. Families were burned out of their homes. Um, our local Red Cross would show up and give support to those families. The Red Cross was, that was one of the things that we did here locally was respond to house fires. I woke up in the hospital and there was a lady sitting at the bottom of my bed. She had for me a Walmart card to buy clothes and a quilt that she had made. The campaign helps us in a way by educating the community on fire safety, gives an earlier response to fires in the home and businesses to allow us quicker response to fires where the damage will not be so extensive. Out of all the tragedy of this, I'll never forget that because it made me feel like I still had something and someone that cared. And I saw Red Cross in a totally different light. On the first day that we did our canvas, we actually installed, I want to say, 56 smoke detectors. Um, and the second day we installed 74 smoke detectors. Some of the guys come back and they'll say, well, saved another house through the smoke detector program. I've been sent out on national deployments to very large scale disasters. Been out on several national disasters. Seen a lot of things that is almost unbelievable to see. Katrina happened, I was down there for some time. Seen boats on railroad track. We all see it on the news. We see the hurricanes, we see the tornadoes, we see the flooding, but I don't think we think about it because it's not us. They do help a lot of people. I think that's the best part of it. I'm sure they're there to help. And things like our blood program, which we are literally saving lives uh, through blood donations uh, every each and every day. It's just it's something that, that not too many other organizations can say. We provide sheltering and feeding, and uh, from what I can see, we do a great job. We have I think, a couple thousand just here in Lincoln County that have donated over a lifetime more than 20 gallons. Well, I know how important the Red Cross has become to this department through not only helping families when they have had fires in their homes, but also helping supplement our programs that we have already started through our department. I think we're reaching areas that have not been reached before. Peace. Family. Comfort. Passion for the community. Volunteerism. And we're there to help during times of disasters. I think we're very helpful with people. I can't say enough about the, the Red Cross organization big organization with a real family feel. The community safety and across the nation. And to know your life will go on.